Hey guys, welcome to our channel. Today I'm turning a boring old school calculator into a fancy one with a see-through back. Huge shout out to Jack who suggested this idea to me. As you see, the insides of a calculator is much cooler than its back, and modern day tech seem to curve around transparent devices like the Nothing Phone. So without a further ado, let's get into making it. Now, this mod is quite simple. Here are some of the materials needed. First, we unscrew the calculator, and now we can remove the back cover, which reveals the calculator's internals. Now, we have to be careful, as the screen is basically dangling on a flex cable, and ripping it will break it. With that out of the way, let's proceed. Now for the next step, I carefully mark the area on the back panel where I am going to remove, keeping things like screw holes in consideration. After I marked the back, it was time to mark the transparent acrylic. The easiest way to do so is to grab some tape and take the acrylic to the calculator and trace the previous markings. Now comes the fun part. I made sure my room is well ventilated, then I took a craft knife and heated it up with a lighter as a hot knife for cut through plastic like butter. After the knife is heated, we gently bring the knife onto the plastic and being careful not to use too much force. This process takes quite a while so it might be helpful if you have a gas burning stove to heat the knife up with. Anyways, after it is done, we can now repeat the process with the acrylic. Now I have both of them cut, it can be pushed out with a super satisfying click. Now it's a good time to heat up my trusty old hot glue gun. As you might have noticed, the cut is not clean and is somewhat rough and wonky, so it's time to bust out some sandpaper and smooth the rough edges. Actually, I grew tired, so I kind of cheated by using an electric sander. After that, I make sure the acrylic panel fits onto the back of the calculator perfectly before temporarily securing it with tape. Then I use hot glue to secure the acrylic panel to the calculator's back. Now I can peel off the tape and do some final sanding. And we're almost there. After checking and making sure everything fits as it should, I can secure the back panel into place with the screws. And now we are finished. I'm actually really glad about how this design turned out in the end. Alright, I know I didn't make the cleanest of all finishes, as hot glue isn't very transparent. So if I were ever to do this again, I would have used UV glue, or black glue that's similar to UV glue. Anyways, I have an idea about how to incorporate LEDs into this design, but I won't put it in this video because the space needed for its battery and its other components like the LED and the switches depend on a model of the calculator, that is because they have different interior designs. So anyways, that's it for this video, stay curious, and goodbye for now.